Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nemo TV. Welcome to Yaosh. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to live stream on YouTube and other streaming websites. So if we could kick this started by opening up your web browser and going to xsplit.com. It's pretty simple, xsplit.com. Link will be in the description as for a text tutorial. Because I know a lot of you guys like to, you know, see like see the text, not the actual video. The video is nice for reference, but the text is really what uh, you know, you guys could learn different ways. So let's kick this started by registering for an account. I've already done that, so uh, you just click join now whenever you're ready and download the program. And once you guys get there, you guys could pause the video so you can download the program if you have a bad internet connection. But if you have a bad internet connection, then it's going to affect you from here on. <laughs> so uh, once you're signed on to Exploit Broadcaster, what you guys are going to want to do is go to Broadcast, Edit Channels, and add a Twitch.tv channel you guys can do the live stream that's the same concept so just add your twitch TV I've already done that so I'm gonna hit edit and basically what you're gonna wanna do is just add your username pretty simple I would keep it case sensitive so it'll show up in your channel because XSplit has a glitch where if you don't uh, if you don't put it case sensitive then it's not gonna show up with the channel uh, you, you gotta put your password in that's case sensitive obviously or your stream key you can find your stream key um, by going to twitch.tv slash broadcast you have to be signed on in order to see it you just click show key and then paste right there. Now what you're going to want to do is go to location and find the location that's near to you. So for me, I usually use San Antonio or uh, Virginia, whatever. Yeah, something like that. Any Anything near you. Uh, once you're ready, then we're going to start the video encoding. So preset, I usually keep faster because my CPU, let's see what, how, what my CPU is running right now. So we're on 9% to 19% just with XSplit open. So uh, that's like the more that you go down the higher the CPU has to be so like let's say uh, faster medium compression don't try without an i7 slow don't try without a monster CPU so if you have a laptop do not stream I'm sorry but don't stream I have no idea why this says 850 I stream at 2500 now if you guys have a uh, let's say if you have a 5 upload speed then you guys could stream around 1900 bit rates so uh, like let's say 1900 bit rate now if you have anything lower than one megabyte I would not suggest live streaming FPS shooters you could probably get by with Minecraft and a Google Hangout and that's about it so let's if I let's say 1900 is what I'm gonna stream at quality I'm gonna put it around 8 9 to 10 this affects your CPU and your GPU so I, I keep mine at 10 just because my GPU I mean my uh, my CPU and bandwidth is good enough. I don't know why I said GPU. Don't listen to me, guys. I mean, you do, do listen to me, but don't. <laughs> is that a mind fuck? Yes, it is. Okay, so keep your uh, VBV buffer rate. This doesn't really affect bandwidth. Keep it at around 3,000. Um, your audio encoding, I would keep that at 44.100 kilohertz. Keep it. Keep that there. That's the best. Uh, the 16-bit stereo. Yep. There we go. Once we're done with that, uh, the bitrate, keep it at, I mean, mono, sorry. I don't even know. Just whatever. Whatever it was at before. Uh, the bitrate, keep it at around 128 to 96. That's what I would suggest. Uh, Codec, if you guys have the XSplit Personal or Premium License, then I would suggest streaming at AAC LC. But if you, I think that they only offer SP, uh, SPEEX for the non, uh, non like, uh, personal or business. Or, personal or premium members so if you're just a regular member then I uh, use speaks or I don't even know I don't know how to have it set up I have a premium two year so yeah <laughs> uh, automatically save recording on a local drive you can do that but you have to have a pretty big hard drive like you gotta have a lot of hard drive space to do that um, you always want to interleave audio and video in one RTMP URL because that's gonna help out that's gonna uh, relieve some stress on your bandwidth so once you're done with that uh, you can test the bandwidth by doing that Blah blah, but we're gonna close that and then you just hit, hit OK and then hit OK again. So, once we got that all good to go, we're gonna get your little preview set up. Uh, don't mind these, those are my overlays. Okay, let's say if you stream on the uh, the hop hog, I don't have a hop hog anymore, so this is what I'm gonna do. This is where your preview should be. Okay, so you got this right here. 
you guys can either if you have an XSplit personal or premium license then you could do add game and then you could do add capture module nothing that's what you could do so you got that there and you just make it you know resize it hit settings uncheck keep aspect ratio you always want to do that so it actually you know fits the aspect ratio and then you're gonna crop the top and the bottom so wadi wada bam bam wada okay so once you're done with that you just uh you just start the broadcast on your end. Now if you have an Elgato, same thing. I believe that's how, I, I think they have live streaming enabled with their with the Elgato, but I don't know how that works, so what you're gonna wanna do is just do the same thing, add game, screenshot, blah de blah, wah -bada -wah -ba 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 -ba. or you can do screen, er, not media file, <laughs> that'd be pretty easy, or you could do screen regions, so, you know, like I said, you just capture the screen, pow. You know, and then you can just crop it however you need to. I'm just gonna remove that, and once you're ready, just start broadcasting. Now, what we're gonna do is go over the YouTube live streaming. For you guys that are always asking me, how do I live stream on my YouTube channel? Well, I'm gonna teach you right now. So let's do this crap. Uh, what you're gonna want to do is go to your YouTube channel, sign on. Oh, look at that Nemo Nation at 1K. Thanks, everybody. Love you all. Okay, so go to your video manager. You always want to go to video manager. And if you have live events tab, you have to have that live events tab. If you don't have that, then you better be barking up Deathly IM's tree. Um, if you guys are a partner on YouTube and have that, then you're good to go. But um, if you don't have it, then just tweet out, uh, tweet at Deathly or email him. Um, yeah, just bug him for me. <laughs> Love you, Deathly. <laughs> so um, you're just gonna want to title it however you want to. So let's do testing, testing even more. Okay, tags. Always want to put your tags. YouTube tags. That's gonna get you the views. Okay, put where whatever whenever you want it to start. You can make it start whenever. You know, just keep it. The max is four hours to upload. So, I always want to agree with the terms. Gaming, public, got all that stuff good to go. And if you guys want to do Creative Commons, more power to you. Event settings. Always want to uh, maximum four hours. So you always want to enable the uh, the CDN or whatever that's called. Yeah. So claim it. You gotta want to make. You guys want to make that YouTube money, right? Okay, so just do standard in stream ads. Good to go on that aspect. Um, I think we're good. So you just create the event. As you can tell, pretty simple. Okay, now you have to make a thumbnail. So you guys gotta have you know some GFX skills. I'm just kidding. Yeah, you just wanna upload your thumbnail. Let's just upload one of mine, old ones. Good to go on that part. Now, if you guys want to use Wirecast for YouTube, I would not suggest it for uh, you dudes using the FPS games because this is a Expo tutorial. So once you got that part, you, this is the part that you guys are gonna want to use right here. Okay, so we're gonna implement that into XSplit. So what we're gonna do is go to Edit Channels, add a custom RTMP. We're gonna do Testing, and this is where you're gonna want to start adding your stuff. So RTMP URL. You want to copy this, paste it into the RTMP URL space. Stream name, pretty self-explanatory, guys. This is not that hard, I promise. But if you guys have some trouble with it, then just tweet me or post a comment. I will read all the comments. Ooh, they made it so you could uh, restretch that stuff. I didn't know that. <laughs> I learn something new every day. So just put a share link. Let's do youtubecom slash TV. Do user agent x split question mark, and you're good to go. Uncheck inner leave audio and video and do the settings like I did on the other one, you know, on the other on the Twitch TV channel. It's same, same dealio, except you don't have like a location. It's just automatic like YouTube uh, URL, I guess. So, um, preset, make the preset however you want it. I'm just kidding. Uh, threw around very fast, uh, super fast. So, yeah, you guys got the settings. Always want a trial and error. That's all about live streaming, is trial and error. So, I hope you guys appreciated this tutorial. Oh yeah, hit broadcast and start your broadcast whenever you're ready. Um, and then you have to go to live control panel, like live control room to start the streaming. What's really cool about us YouTube partners is we can actually stream to this RTMP URL without actually broadcasting it to our fans. That's freaking legendary. So if you run into any troubles, then just do weird experience technical difficulties. Or if you guys want to delay the event, do all this stuff. That's the broadcast alerts. You guys should know this stuff. It's not that hard. Um, and then once you're ready, just start streaming. Now I'm going to show you something really quick. I'm kind of extending this out to give you guys a little bit more information so I don't have to cover it again. 
uh, go to channel settings everybody should have this uh, go to live broadcaster you always want to check that to make it so it looks super cool you know what I'm saying and then just choose featured video do upcoming live events there we go testing and then this is what it's gonna look like so cool oh my gosh so once you're good with that just start the uh, start the stream and you're good to go if you guys experience any troubles be sure to stop the broadcast on XSplit not on your YouTube channel so here's the outro guys if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like if you thought it was helpful uh, go check out my channel and subscribe to me I appreciate 1k for my fellow Nemo Nation subscribers I really appreciate it guys so um if you guys have any questions be sure to post a comment um, been really fun guys till next time guys been your boy Nemo thanks again for watching I'm out guys peace where's the party at? you know the party's over here bumping loud music throughout the year east west north south you know how we do it everybody check the party just prove it to the